let's get to it. So I wrote down on a piece of paper that Sophie in the back right there. I'll bring it in at the end of the video. So um I wrote down my top ten things that I see like um dating a police officer, like dating anyone who's in like law enforcement, some things that like you deal with. Um we've been together for seven years. Um about half of that time, yeah, three, four years, um, he's been a police officer. So um, I knew from the beginning he wanted to be a cop and I am not a dream crusher. So I was just like, okay, if that's what you really want to do. A few times I was like, you sure? Like, you can think of something as you want to be a nurse? Be a nurse like me. He was like, no, not happening. So I was like, okay, it is what it is. I tried. Not going to work. So um, the first thing is always being nervous for when the phone rings. Every time, like, if he's at work, because they're not supposed to be on their phone, so I don't expect him to call me or really text me, so, um, unless, like, he's on break or whatever, and every time my phone rings, like, this happened a lot, like, my first, like, the, his first year working, a year and a half, but till this day, still does, but, bef like, at the beginning, it, like, scared the crap out of me. Every time the phone rings, I'm just like, yes what's wrong are you okay like i answered all my unknown calls like i don't answer no unknown number like i don't answer none but let me tell you after he started working as a cop like i answer every unknown number because i was like i think of the okay guys i'm one of those people that think of the worst things i would be like creating scenarios in my head like jesus christ he got shot oh my god he's dead or oh my god he got hit like i think of the worst things ever things ever he called me like negative nancy because i think of the worst things ever and it just made me so nervous every time i get a phone call or like my phone rings or something or if you call me and it may sound a little loud in the background, i'm like steve are you okay like are you okay he's like i'm fine like what's wrong i was like oh nothing so that's one thing that is like super hard and I have like nerve problems and it makes me so anxious and nervous all the time the phone rings so that's one uh, the second thing is um, sometimes with like society now when like everything was going on you know I know there's good cops there's bad cops there's good and bad in everything out there that's that's include nursing there's people out there that be taking people medication and don't give them their medication. There's people that do all of those things. Like, it's not even, but like, seriously, everything is good and bad. But unfortunately, for people who serve the public, there's bad people. And they shouldn't be, you know? So, sometimes I don't feel proud. Like, sometimes I want to get, like, the little stickers on my car. And, like, every time I'm going to, I think, like, somebody might key my car. Like, somebody might actually, like, follow me down. Like, do whatever, you know? Because people aren't. You know, a lot of people aren't pleased with what's going on with, like, you know, the backlash. You know, all that stuff. Sophie is trying to get in the cereal. So, um, yeah. So, sometimes you don't feel really proud. Like, you're proud of them for, you know, doing what they love, all that stuff. But it's like you can't really express it. Like, OMG. Like, for me to even post on my social media about, like, Stevie and his uniform or whatever. Like, anything. Like, it took a while because I was just like, people are going to, like come at me for like no reason at uh, all third thing is watching the news and um all the crazy videos like watching the news like every time i see the news and it's like breaking news i'm like oh my god oh my god because he works in the city so it's like oh my god what is going on and it's like you you're so nervous like i feel like you're always on like this kind of like high like it's like crazy so, like, every time I hear breaking news, I'm just, like, running to the TV, like, oh, my God, what is going on? And it's, like, is he okay? Like, do he know what's going on? Like, anything. So, yes, watching the news a lot. Like, if you ain't watched the news before, you're about to start watching the news. If you don't read newspaper, you're about to start reading the newspaper. It's, like, so crazy. It's, like, it's so crazy. There's, like, so much things that change. It's, like, I don't know. It's so, so different. So weird. Okay, so that's number three. The other one is getting calls from everyone. When something happened, my mama call, my friends call, 
<laughs> people I don't even talk to text me. Like, everyone called. My mom, though, is the biggest one. And it's out of love. It's out of, like, you know, all of it's, it's out of, like, caring. So, like, if there's anything that happened down in the area that she know he works, it's like everyone call me. Oh, did you, did he hear from him? Is he okay? Like, do you know what's going on? Do you hear from, I'm just like, oh my Lord Jesus. I'm gonna get like so much calls today. Like asking me the same thing. So that's another thing. Can be very like, oh my gosh. Yes, he is okay. Yes, he is. <laughs> but they're all just calling because, you know, obviously they care and they want to know what's going on with him or whatever. And if he's safe, you know. So that's another thing. Sophia. <laughs> um, okay, another thing is if you like to make plans like me and people sticking by it, best believe it's going to end. And soon as they go in the academy, it's done. Taken away from you. Like, I am so serious, okay? Like, the other day, we were supposed to go. We, we did go. Well, he kind of went, like, for 20 minutes. But you cannot plan it anything when i said anything not even holiday birthday reservations like i don't even try i try not to like plan anything on the days where he goes to work and i expect him to come off early and that day we actually had planned that event paid for the event like over the weekend and he ended up picking up overtime and the overtime extended like six hours and he literally missed like two hours of the show like, it was crazy it's crazy it's like they're going to miss events a lot of events and it sucks because like you know they can't they're not guaranteed to even be off on their days off so it's like you're just hoping and praying like please come home on time please get out on time it's like super frustrating because i was just there with the baby like this is crazy like he's not even here like for most of the show it was super annoying so I try not to show my frustration on him because then that's just going to, like, get him stressed out. Then he's just going to, like, oh, my God, I hate this job, you know? Like, I don't want him to be like that. So, I just was like, you know, babe, it's fine. It is what it is. You know, at least you make it for some and there's nothing we can do. So, I just, like, try. I try not to, like, make him feel, like, the stress that I feel that comes with the job because he's already dealing with the BS out. Like, he's already dealing with all of that, like, at work. He don't want to come home and have to hear me complaining like all day like oh blah 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 you miss this you like no one want to hear that like at all and there's nothing he can do back to the whole like scheduling thing missing holidays like literally like they're not gonna get no holiday with you probably they're gonna be like two holidays within like five years seriously like he never get like any christmas he never got um only one thanksgiving he got and that was it nothing else like nothing else it's crazy so no holiday you may probably get like a half a day before they go into work or like after work something like that but it's not guaranteed to get a whole day off you know they may get lucky like depends on how long they've been on the job so that's like another thing too if they've been on a job for a while you know seniority get over like you know picking vacation days or whatever so that's another thing that sucks. No more holidays. So just enjoy the holiday before they go in the academy. Or if your husband or your partner, whoever it is, is in the academy right now or started, you know, working as a police officer or wherever, just try to enjoy them as much as you can. And appreciate the little time that they give you on the holidays, you know, because they try. They try. <laughs> There's nothing they can do. So that's one. Um, another thing is their patience. My husband, he was so like, yes, just like that. He's done just like that. So, so no patience. My husband have no patience. Like he absolutely have like no patience. I swear. I tell him all the time. I said, like, you have zero tolerance now for like anything before, you know, he can tolerate things. Now you don't have no patience for anything. It's like, relax. Like, you don't gotta be so crazy. Like, be patient, be calm, chill. He have no patience. So their patience go from like here to like here. <laughs> like, it's crazy. It's insane, but it's like, you know, but they gotta deal with on the, like every day. They're not dealing with all crazy people. They got dealing with people who got comments, like who got sense, who just be doing some stupid stuff. Like, you know, they do, they deal with people who like make them like come out of like character and like they change. 
you know so that's one thing i try to like remind steve like you know don't change you know do your best do what you can do and try to be a little patient with them too you know people got everybody ain't perfect people got things going on with them you know so always try to be understanding you know i always tell him that because it can be very stressful i can imagine because trust me i couldn't do that job okay i could not i'll be like oh no you're talking some foolishness <laughs> Like, I could not, I don't have the patience. And you have to have patience to be in that profession. And also being a nurse, like, I can do people who are sick, you know, who need me, stuff like that. But people who be doing that, some craziness for no reason at all, like, I don't have no patience for it. So, kudos to, like, all the law enforcement people that have patience. So, they were all the crazy people. And people who got sent and just be doing some stuff, it's like, come on, man, why are you going to do that? Like, why are you going to, like crazy so they're patient and they bring that home that zero tolerance they will bring that home and i have to remind stevie a few times like okay while you deal with that work you need to leave that at the door when you come in this house you need to drop the attitude you need to drop the cursing you need to drop all of that because that's not working in here so like i had to remind him like when he had just started like about like two years in i had to start reminding him like babe i see you changing and your patience is getting like crazy like you know just like just think that you realize you know i try to talk to him about it so that's like another thing um another thing is like since i had sophia it's been on my mind more and it's like to think that anything can happen to them any day when they leave the home like leave the house like anything can happen they may not come back home like um something might happen where i don't know they got sh they get shot like something and they're just not the same so knowing that like there's possibility like one day my husband may walk out of the house not come back and i'll be a widow like i ha i'll be a single mom a widow just alone it's like scary but it's like you know what you think about it's like hard sometimes you know but you just pray, you know, you just pray that they come out and come in the same way they leave, you know. So that's like super hard. It's crazy. Like I wrote the list and I like sent him a picture of it. And he was just like, babe, that is so depressing. <laughs> he feels so bad. I was like, don't feel bad. It's okay. I signed up for it. That's what I always tell him. It's okay. So yeah, that's like um, a thing that really sucks, you know. Number nine is... um how people the changes in society and like how people look on you like so similar to like what i was saying before with um not feeling so proud so you i feel like i'm always like you know i see stuff about like you know police and these pigs like all of those things and it's just like but they're not all like that i always tell him i was like it's crazy like when i i lived back home in Jamaica like two of my cousins got killed by police officers and back home I feel like the whole like police system can also be like is like very corrupt up here too there's corruption like everywhere you know but there's a lot back home back then and um I I always say I was like I would never date one of those cops blah, blah blah and all of that and it's like look now I end up with one and that like that that was just like you know ignorance I was I was like very young I was like very very young so like you know and if if everyone around you keeps saying you hate pigs and you hate cops and you do this the little kids are growing up now that's all they're gonna see they're not gonna see that there's cops out there that will actually try to help community and like you know um you know, help people, you know, and really protect and serve, you know, the, all, if you, you, you talk about in your, your household is if the cop, you know, all of those negative things that, what do you expect? The kids are going to grow up to see, then it's going to continue on. So you have to change some cycle. Just like how they got to change, you know, things that go on in the police department or whatever. It got to be the same thing in the community too. You can't just go in, you know, a lot of kids, a lot of kids, I say a lot of kids, would yell and curse at them and say you this you that and it's like where you think they hear that from like adults like people that live in their community their parents their family members all of that so you also have to be careful of what you say around these kids because they're the future and if you and if people want things to change also you have to change how you look on things and you know things that you say as the last one 
so sad, so sad, is not seeing each other so often. So when I was working a lot, oh my gosh, I did not see him. Even now, like I'm home with Sophia every day and I still don't even get to really see him. You know, a lot. So that's another thing. Their work schedule can be very, very bad. And not seeing them can, you know, put a strain on relationship. It can do all of that. Especially if you're new. You know, you have to um, know that you may not see them as often as you may like, you know. And you may be sleeping in that bed alone a few nights, you know. But, hey, it, it is what it is, you know. That's why when you guys get time together, you know, you make the best of it so that's pretty much it those are the 10 things hardest things that i deal with personally you know on being with a police officer there's some good things you know i like to see him in his whole you know uniform and one nah. <laughs> i am listen i still jewel over my husband okay after seven years i will jewel over that man <laughs> so um yeah those are the 10 hardest things that I personally deal with dating a police officer and being married to one, living with one, and, you know, having my baby girl, having her daddy, you know, being out there protecting and serving the community. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you guys have any comments or, you know, anything you want to add down there, if you're also a Leo wife, law enforcement officer wife you know you can comment a little blue heart down below or whatever or if you're a police officer and you just watch the video and like him be like that is right that is right that's the struggle put a blue heart down there so um thank you guys for watching uh i'm gonna get so so in here she hi see she's all dressed up and ready you're ready you all just have to go yeah let's go yeah let's go no, this is my paper. This is my paper. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Move your hands. Move your hand, baby. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching.